There we go. Alright. Get this thing up and running again. Now that I'm officially done with Half-Life 1, I can start Half-Life 2. Officially start Half Life 2 finally. Been stuck on Half Life 1 for a wee bit too long. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up. Jeez. Creepy little bastard. Out of my face. Chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. Right, right, right. As long as I'm thinking about it, uh, we're gonna leave it right there. Subtitle it. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. All right. So, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. No, it's not. Don't let them lie to you. Look at this stuff. It's all I have left. <laughs> All right, I'm moving. Jeez. Were you the only ones on that train? This shows you how the alien race has taken over our planet. Come on. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. Welcome. They said he'd be on the next train. Welcome to City I'm not 17. sure when that was. You have Did chosen their, their being or nice been though, chosen letting to me wait for him. to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully Dr. Breen again? Our I was hoping I'd seen the last of him I've in City 14. City I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of and operations. So, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, Welcome 
to City 17. It's safer. <laughs> I am moving it, dickhead. Fuck off. Welcome. Welcome to City Seven. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you... Pile up some stuff to get through that window. You're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Yeah, so basically 20 years after... You've been in stasis in, in uh, the G-Man's holding facility for the last 20 fucking years. So the aliens have basically had control of the Earth for 20 years. You. I recently received. Dear Dr. Green, why has the combine seen fit to suppress our reproductive cycle? Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing, concerned. Of course, your question I'm listening to his broadcast. Basic biological impact. All its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for them? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for no, mankind? Put it in the trash can. Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unborn. First, we must consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is known. This simple fact has far reaching revision of the human It also requires memory and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like this to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. 
instinct was our mother. We were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern. This is creepy. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. Fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basest of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exorcised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They Bullshit. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be shut off on the day we have mastered ourselves. The that ain't gonna happen. We can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority, is close at hand. Yeah, if you actually listen to his broadcast and take in and pay attention to what he is saying, his underlying tone is very creepy. Ow. Almost as creepy as these things. New in town, aren't you? Can you stop following me? Once again, I bring up the fact that all of their machines are not machines, but they are living creatures. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. <laughs> More at Twitch. Your face is a Twitch. Uh, combine locked doors. Yeah, so... Right. I don't have a light. Um... The combine, basically being 20 years later, the combine is a human alien that the that the alien force is built as a means of controlling humans so they've and when I say controlling I mean controlling oh I thought you were a cop I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Where well, you gotta go? Nope. I can't take it anymore. Attention, residents. 
Miscount detected. I just entered this building. How did they realize that that it was there was a miscount? Shit. Apparently that's how they are suppressing your reproductive cycles. Dr. Freeman, I presume. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Like, fuck Dr. Ass Kleiner up. said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Let's go. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny you showing up on this day in particular. I didn't have anything to do with it. I was in stasis. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything... Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon... Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't be credit for the break. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. <laughs> we can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. 
This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Trying to break it. Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your pet. Fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fine. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> Can't remember what I had to put in there to break it. Technically, there's an achievement for it, too. There we go. It's better that I already have it. GV suit still fits you like a glove. You're supposed to let me see him. Love parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold-up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Giggity! Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C base and LT orbifold. Nobody does. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Uh, yeah, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor Pluck. Hiding back there. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing. This would be creepy as hell. Hey, well, more scary uh, than creepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. 
No, you won't. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your pet, the freaking head hopper! Certain it was Gordon Freeman. He's not there. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Yes, well, you see, what you're doing there is jumping, but, uh, you know, good enough. You're in my way. Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I should try and get all 45 of these. Maybe I will. That just means I need to pull up another tab here. Of course. It blanked out on me. Google. Come on. Half leaf to Lambda Locator. One out of forty five, two out of forty five. This location is impossible to miss during your escape from the lab. Entrance, the entrance to a shaft between some shipping containers mark the lambda symbol. When passing through, you'll find another lambda behind the supply crate blocking your path. Okay, well, I already knew that one. Fuck off. And that's their locators on them, the ones going beep. This is the other lambda locator, the third one. What does my right bumper do? I don't remember. Primary, secondary, pickup, flashlight. I almost want that to be flashlight. Reload, jump, duck, sprint, zoom, gravity gun. That's what mm -hmm. it is. I just don't have it yet. Okay. Fourth location. Encountering your first amount of machine gun. Must break the supports on a platform in order to cross a ledge. Drop down, blah, 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 blah. I know where that one's at, too. I know where they're at. It's just... Next! 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 Unidentified person of interest. Confirm your signal status with local protection team immediately. Unidentified person of interest. I'm an unidentified person of interest. Yeah, 
that didn't go so well. Holy shit! I ain't never pulled that one off before. Okay. I ain't never done that before. My phone went bzz, bzz. All right, let's do this again. Come on. Next. Next. sit here and fight them, but... Okay. My skills aren't too rusty. Oh, I think he might actually be on this side of the fence. Sweet. <laughs> Their trains are creepy too. Come on. Catching a lot of buoyancy here. 
donuts while I was in stasis. Oh. I'm crouched, that's why. <laughs> hey, look, he it's really was on there. You, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Oh? Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Attention. Main station's right around the corner. Community. They'll get you started on the right foot. On rest, procedure. <laughs> Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you Inoculate. going. Shield. Pacify. Code. Pressure. Four. Be careful. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catch you down here. Full railroad. Report to the behavior for civil protection team immediately. I still don't understand when when humans became friends with the Vortigaunts, but See, the fact that the Vortigaunts are now with us, and not with them, tells you right there that they probably turned on the Vortigaunts, and we're dealing with a really fucked up enemy. Next land location. Citizen reminder. Inaction is conspiracy. Report counter behavior to a civil protection team immediately. Well. Wow. It's basically the next Lambda Lark location. It's right up around the corner here after I have to take care of these guys. Ah, it's Martin Craven. toy that they decided to uh, build. Time to go. I have to remember how to run. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. -uh. You're not gonna go into screensaver on my ass. Uh-uh. Uh. -uh. uh Okay, I gotta, uh, swap a couple things here. Ah. Controller. There we go. Flashlight. It's gonna be there. 
Sprint is going to be there. Duck. Yeah, duck can be there. And we'll put that as the gravity gun. Attention. Yeah. Community. Unrest procedure code is now in effect. Inoculate. Shield. Pacify. Code. Pressure. Sword. Attempt to sterilize. Community. Well, I'm gonna... I didn't really go as planned. I was hoping to get subtitles for what they're saying. Alright, next one is down there. After being fired upon by a helicopter for the first time, go through a nearby blue door, partially hidden by a stack of barrels. Down the stairs inside, you'll see the lambda underneath the gantry. Nearby ladder leads to the cache below. I've been to most of them. Friend, that station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive. Moving on. Level 1. Protection unit 
that are still alive? Not too bad. Go down. Oh shit. Much fun. And that would be the helicopter I spoke of. Fall back the other way. I said another one. Hey, those I got too many bricks because now they're falling off. Alright, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. Cause I need to continue finishing up uh Narat to Shaputin. Ow! Yeah, I need to go to season 15. Which actually, no. Oh, season 15's actually. Quite a decent amount. All right. Now I can go.
I gotta, uh... I still gotta relearn my controls. That's not too far off, either. Yeah, they just like burn burn people alive down here. Almost thought it was too late for that one. I'm gonna put this down for just a second. Actually, I don't even have to put it down. I could just take it with me. <laughs> 